Hello everybody, it is Friday. It is around 10 after 5. Um, I just checked the update. Um, I come to you with just a week later this time because there is some information that you need to know. Uh, we know there is a great deal of frustration out there um, with the vaccine issue, with the appointment making issue. We know. We don't control it. All we can keep doing is making phone calls saying something has to be done, and that is being done. Phone calls, emails, text messages, whatever you can think of, I think we've tried, and I know the county executive has tried. Um, if those of you who, who may have saw a post that I put up yesterday thanking him, I had to. He was able to get things done yesterday and, and keep our Dover site open, not just for Dover residents. Some are going. But for the people who, who went through the process and got their appointments to get their vaccination shots, um, what happened is the, is the supply wasn't going to be here and Dover was going to have to be closed. And he went above and beyond like he does, like we do. Uh, he contacted me and said he made it happen. And I felt the respect and, and the, the admiration and the appreciation he needed. He got it done because we were going to have to close, and now we're not, unless for some unknown reason. But as of right now, we are open tomorrow. So those of you who have an appointment, you will be getting your shots. I will be there to meet the executive to make sure things are going right for this side, uh, and we go from there. So with that, uh, statewide vaccination hotline is... 1-833-697-4829 or you can go to duchessny.gov slash COVID vaccine. All right, those are the two websites you can go to find where you need to go online and to do what you got to do. Um, you can also go to New York State's Am I Eligible tool. Uh, it provides a full list of locations and nearby health care providers who will be providing the vaccine. Again, the phone number is 1-833-697-4829. Enough on the vaccine. Uh, the state, the county-wise statistics uh, as of today, active cases are 2,162. Hospitalizations is 162. Uh, fatalities, unfortunately, have, up, have gone up to 286. And in our town of Dover, today, we are at 59 active cases. We have gone from the, the upper 40s to the mid-30s to 68, back to 59, all since the weekend, last weekend. So within a week, we have fluctuated like that, and we are still way too high. We are at 59. Um, and I do know of some more tests that happened today. Um, so... Again, I wish them all well. I wish them the best of luck. Uh, it's going to be a quick one tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a few announcements that I have to I have to give you. Um, again, just to uh, remind everybody that our town hall and our rec department remain closed to the public. Um, we we contain we continue to be closed to the public because why? Because right now it's just safer for my staff. Uh, we please, we would ask, would you please call ahead, make an appointment. Um, we will handle the business, but we are doing it by appointment only now. If you show up, you will be talked to through the locked door, and then we will do what we need to do th that way. But we ask you to please make an appointment. Um, also, our tax collection nights are now scheduled for the remaining month of January and then into February. Uh, please go online or look at your bills. You'll see the dates that are posted. You can go online. You can look at the legal notice that's in the paper. Um, the dates and times are posted. We are required by law to provide in-person payment days. But we would ask, please consider paying either online or by mail this year. And it's just It's just safer for the tax collector, for myself who works along with her, and the people that do come in and out. The residents of Dover. Um, we would ask you to pay by mail or online like I asked, but if you have to come and pay in person, we please, we, we ask, please try to pay with either a check or a money order. 
We have to take cash, but we would like to try to avoid the cash. It is just safer. So if you could, please pay with either a check, your personal check, a bank check, or a money order, and uh, and we will handle the business the, the way we have to. But we would ask if you would please consider, those of you who do pay in person every year, and we see the same people every year, and we appreciate it, but if you would please consider not paying in person this year and go online or pay by mail by mailing in your tax payments. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, we will do whatever we need to do, but it's just to keep everybody safe. Those who come to the town hall, the tax collector, and myself. Uh, if you do have to come and pay in person, you will only be one at a time allowed in the town hall. One at a time. That's it. The rest of you will have to wait outside until you are let in, either by myself or by the constable that will be on duty. So with that, I thank you. This is the big announcement. Um, today, as of today, around noontime, myself and super, Highway Superintendent Jason Satori, uh, we made a decision based on information, based on actual fact, um, we will be closing the town highway department down. Uh, the highway is shut down for e just for emergencies only. We will be able to do maybe, um, but we had to shut it down today due to the issue at hand, COVID-19. Um, I wish our staff well. I wish my crew well, his crew well, um, but we had to shut it down for the next two weeks. It will be shut down. To, uh, and we will handle what we can handle, emergencies only. Uh, Superintendent Sartori will be monitoring the phone. So if there is an issue, please go online and, and find the number. Uh, it's 832-9567 is the shop phone. Uh, his cell phone, I don't know off the top of my head. It's in my phone, actually. But you can go online and find it. And uh, that's the way we'll be handling business for the next two weeks. Um, we have set in place a plan. If any weather comes in, um, we have put in a plan for those who can come in. Um, obviously, some can't, and some won't be able to for the next 10 to 14 days. So our highway department is shut down. That's the way it's got to be. Um, it is what it is. We've been prepared. We have, have mentally prepared for this. Um, but it finally, not that we wanted it to, it finally hit home. And we are shutting things down that we were hoping we wouldn't have to. So again, ladies and gentlemen out there, highway department is closed for the next two weeks unless something happens. Please call in anything you may see. Call into the number of the, at the shop or go online and find Jason's cell phone to report whatever you need to or send an email to myself or to Jason uh, Satori, our highway super. Um, that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, do what you need to do. Please, please continue to try to be safe. And most of all, be smart. We, I mention a gathering. It has taken off. I am notified at least twice a week about the people who have attended and other people who have possibly been attended by people who were there. So get well. Each and every one of you, please get well, um, get healthy. But most of all, the rest of us need to try to do what we can to stay healthy. Be smart, be safe, be well. So with that, I will end with that. Um, but always remember, we are Dover. We are strong. We are one. We are Dover strong. We are one team, one town. We are the town of Dover. And I have said it, we will get through this. The good and the bad, we will get through it together. We will get to the end of this eventually. Vaccines are here. People know what they need to do. We just need to remember to keep doing it. Good night. Have a good weekend. And most of all, stay healthy and God bless. Good night, everybody.